Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're playing Wild Frost. We'll be building a town, uh, fighting penguins and discovering secrets of the frozen tundra. So if you don't know, Wild Frost is a deck building game um, similar to Slay the Spire or Cobalt Core with its own twist and also very nice visuals. I'll try to explain what's going on on the screen as we play, but for now let's just for jump right into it. And first we pick our leader. This will be the this will be us uh, for all intents and purposes. And once the leader dies, the game is over. Uh, let's see. Let's let's pick something simple. As you can see, uh, I had a uh, one test run just to get through this tutorial. Um, but you haven't missed anything. All right, so uh, we'd start the game by playing our leader and possibly other companions. There are two rows. One side is us, the other side is enemies. And we can see what every enemy does and when. So this enemy has four HP, attacks for one, and it has attacks every two turns and our leader has 10 HP, attacks for 3, attacks every 4 turns and it also applies snow which as we can see freezes the enemy which means their counter doesn't tick at the end of the turn. And here is our hand, we can play cards right off it once per turn, all sorts of stuff, we have plane attacks, we have you know countdowns going down, we have companions, we have buffs, so all sorts of cool stuff. But for now, we will start by playing a companion. Alright, so the enemy is about to attack us, and I think we're okay with that. Oh, so the smack back is the enemy counterattacks, but since we've frozen them, they do not attack us back. And you know what? Let's just buff our leader. Koof. Yeah. A couple more pop ups to go through, but we'll be fine. Wave Bell allows us to summon enemies earlier. And also, it shows you when the ne next wave is coming. And the Redraw Bell allows us to draw a new hand. So, when there's a number in the middle of the redraw bell, it actually skips the turn, but once it's charged, like now, we can redraw for free, we don't lose a turn. And let's just summon enemies. What do we have? A goblin. Escapes from the battle, drops four coins, when hit. Okay. And winter warm, when hit, reduce the attack by one. So, starts with a quite sizable attack, but as the HP goes down, so does the attack. And I think we'll start with the most dangerous part. And we'll let Snoof attack the Goblin, get us some gold, and also prevent them from escaping. Um, let's get Woodhead out. So, you want a beefier cards in front just so they could you know take damage instead of you because the enemies will always attack the front lines with some exceptions and here's our first boss so right now there's no way for us to reach the boss there's an enemy in front so until then I'll just Attack the goons. Alright, there we go. Um, and we'll actually... Whenever anything is note, gain one damage. So maybe we will not attack with the snow stick just yet. Let's play it simple. Get rid of the snow bow. Yeah, we have plenty of snow coming their way anyway, so now we don't really care. There we go. 
that was our first battle. Nicely played. Alright, so as we make our, our way through the map, through the frozen tundra, we get to kind of pick our route. You know, all, all sorts of nodes here that do different things. And we also uncover some, you know, lore behind the behind the frozen tundra itself. If you want to read all that, feel free to pause the video. I will not try and read all of it for you. <laughs> um, or better yet, download the game and read it yourself. All right, so we get to pick between treasure and frozen travelers. And then we have a charm or blink snail cape. Uh, the treasure is just a card. Frozen travelers are companions. The cave will give us some gold, and charm will give us a charm to apply to the cards. Um, I kind of feel like going for the treasure. Let's see what we got. Spore pack. Apply to poison and barrage. Barrage means we attack the entire row. Apply four or pink berry juice. Increase HP by four. Actually, this sounds quite good. All right, let's see what kind of charm we get. Fancy charm. We gain Fancy, which allows us to attack multiple times. But the card is consumed once it's applied. Okay. Well, let's see what we can apply it to. Uh, Fancy, how many times? Two. We could apply it either to the flame water to apply two instances of the attack buff, or maybe pinkberry juice to immediately increase the HP by eight. I, I like this. Oh, wait, three? What? Oh, the charm gives us two extra, so this. This is used once, and then we get two extra. All right, fair enough. So that's 12 HP on the spot. <laughs> Sounds pretty nice. All right, let's break the ice, see what we get. Blinky, when deployed, gain one block. All right. Pooty, when destroyed, add fancy to random ally. Interesting. And what? Apply to poison. I mean, we're starting with the Fancy, right? Might as well lean into that. So as you can see, as we go through the map, we start building our deck and try to squeeze the best uh, outcomes out of every encounter. Uh, let's see. Let's summon Booty. Let's apply Bingberry juice to Koof. Yeah, I don't think anything can kill Koof now. <laughs> and. Hmm. Well, let's buff our Koof. There we go. Put everything in snow, gain two. Okay, let's try not to snow anyone besides this target. And we'll redraw. First, see what we get. There's our snoof. And I think I do want to freeze this guy. Mm -hmm. And let's attack here. Alright. I actually want Koof to attack goblin as well so with two attacks enemies attack first if the counter is the same but we can count down by two which will bring us to zero means we attack instantly but we get frozen <laughs> which stopped us in our tracks completely yeah there are a lot of different interactions between cards and effects so you have to stay on your toes when playing uh-huh, oh, let's attack. There's the Bumbo. 
apply to barrage. So we don't want to fill this row unless we are trying to get uh, destroyed. So I'm thinking that we bring Snooth back. Actually, that's a bad idea. That's a terrible one. Let's let's let let Koof tank all of the damage here, and let's just bring the counter down. Uh huh. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we can do. So the shield with the snow means that the enemy can only be frozen to one turn. So apply two will be dropped back down to one. Um, I actually feel like buffing Koof even more. Uh, let's redraw. And keep attacking. <laughs> Okay, um, we can protect our snoof with Woodhead. So we move the snoof to the top row just to avoid the barrage. And now we can bring him back. And I guess we just attack. Pretty simple, right? And that's the whole fight. <laughs> All right, another journal page, same deal. Feel free to stop if you want to read this, uh, but for now, we'll carry on. And let's see, this is a shop. So with 100 coins, we probably want to sh hit shop at one point, so I guess we'll go through the frozen travelers into the Blink Snail Cave to gain some more coins, and then we'll have hit the shop. But first, a treasure. All right, so count down by one for an entire row. When hit, deal damage equal to the attacker. I actually forgot to explain this crab. This crab is a different type of health as it says in the thumbnail on the tooltip, sorry. Uh, basically, no matter how big the attack is, it will only deal this one damage. And the bite box will return that damage back to attacker. And then we have Dragon Pepper, which pretty much buffs the damage by 7, but only for one attack. And I kind of like bite box. Might come in useful. Let's see what kind of companions we can find in the ice. Deal 8 additional damage to snow targets. Sounds interesting. We have Bunny who restores and cleanses all allies. And then there's the Colonel. When hit, apply 3 shells to ally behind. And shell pretty much just blocks 3 damage in this case. I kind of like Wallop, since we do have quite a bit of snow in the deck already. I think extra 8 damage will definitely not hurt. Alright, let's see what we've got in the shop. So we have a couple of cards. We can buy charms, uh, which with every charm that we buy, the price will increase. And there's also a crown, which I want to buy. The crown allows us to add the card to our first hand. In this case, I will probably add Wallop. And this would mean that we start the fight with our leader and Wallop in the hand now, which allows us to play as them both and save us time when playing companions. Um, I like Bomb Bomb. It's all undamaged enemies. And then we'll have 42 left. So this means we will not be able to buy charms. I guess I want the charm first. 
is just too good. Hey, eight shells. Nice. And I think we can apply that to the leader, right? Makes sense. Since that's the most important card in the deck. 50. So we can gain Pepper Reaper, which attacks target for one but applies for spice. You can also grab Demon Heart. Uh, doubles the damage taken but restores HP. And unfortunately, we cannot afford Bomb Bomb. But. I guess we'll just have to find more coins and buy it later on. There we go. Wallop is now in the starting hand. Saves us a turn to play it. Um, I will definitely start with this. <laughs> Alright. Now, the enemy is about to attack and I think we don't need the bite box just yet. Instead, we'll use our Countdown Rod. Mm -hmm. And now... I mean, we do need to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. So every time Mimiko attacks, they gain more attack power, which will hurt us. And... This guy, whenever the ally dies, gains their attack, so we don't want this little guy to stack a lot of uh, attack power. Um, we'll actually snow this guy, I wouldn't attack, or maybe that was a bad idea, because now they attack for far more. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but that's okay. We can take a hit and we can also play Pooty. There we go. Very nice. Um, let's freeze. Yeah, I don't want Porcupine to attack us, so I guess we will attack them first. We'll play Snoof as well, of course. And reduced attack. Well, if we are about to reduce attack someone, I guess it's best to do that to Snoop. Mm -hmm. Alright. Snoop is about to attack. Perfect. We will actually... Countdown by two for the wallop, so that then we can snow stick and the wallop will have a big attack on the enemy. Uh -huh. There we go, nice big hit. Oh boy, but it looks like the enemy has another face. <laughs> So I guess we have to fight them again, but this time they have just gained one damage every time they attack. Alright, that's not too terrible. Um, let's let our leader tank the damage from, from this guy and just keep attacking, I suppose. Yep, let's let them... Tank some more damage. Freeze the enemy. Um, hmm. Sure, let's let the woodhead block an attack. Let's freeze the main guy. Uh -huh. All right, and there we go. We killed the boss. And the minions escape, of course. But as a result, we get some nifty stuff. Let's see. Sunbell of Charge. Strategy battle with Retro Bell fully charged. 
Leader gains 6 HP. Hog charm gain hog headed and HP. Hog headed cannot be recalled. We have a crown which we are familiar with. Sun charm reduces the countdown by one. And an extra card draw. I think I want to grab a crown. And an extra card. All right, let's see. There's another shop, but maybe, just maybe, we grab some more coins first because I think this is not the end. And I'm hoping we'll see another shop. Hard charm, all right, five HP. Let's give them to Wallop. Wallop deals a lot of damage now, so I guess we want to keep that card around as much as possible. Okay, Molten Dip. Increase by two, attack by two for entire row, and the card is consumed, so it's one time thing. Mimic. Trigger when an ally in the row attacks. Interesting. And a nutshell cake. By 9, reduce HP by 2. I think I like Mimic. <laughs> and there we go, some more gold. We are about to fight Spice Mokos. Uh -huh. I think we forgot to apply the crown to one of our uh, companions, which is unfortunate, but I think we are okay for now. But the Makoko attacks every turn and gains... Wow, alright, we, we definitely need to focus this target. <laughs> Else we'll be in trouble, I think. Um, right. They will attack again. We are not too worried about that, are we? No. Let's do it like this. And when hit, count down the counter by one. Alright, so good thing we've frozen this guy. Let's summon another companion. Ooh, so many of them. But I think we can get away with this. Hey, there we go. There's our Mimic. And I will bring Mimic to this side now. Nice. So Mimic attacks every time someone attacks in a row. Meaning that with Fenzi we can attack twice. And we can drag Snooth back into the deck and heal them up. And there's our pink berry juice. Very well timed. We're about to attack, so... Nice. Pink Moko. When hit, apply three spice to everyone in the battle. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think I want to see that. Alright, let's first target this guy. And we doesn't need more snowballs. <laughs> uh, sorry, snow sticks. Um, hmm. Oh, 
Oh, actually, I don't want to attack the King Mako. So maybe for now, we'll let Wallop just play on this side. <laughs> Ooh, another big attack incoming. Um, hmm. This will hurt. This will be 9 damage. This is 11. I guess we can tank it. Oh, actually, we don't have to. Hey, there we go. Alright, but we definitely need to fight with this guy somehow. Oof. Alright, let's buff Wallop. Wallop will have to do some work for us. Um, and I guess I'll be attacking this guy. Because otherwise we are in trouble. Uh-huh. Snow stick. There we go. Alright, and now we just need to... Defeat this guy. I definitely don't want to take that much damage. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure if we have a choice, do we? I guess we're losing Mimic here. It's a shame, but we cannot tank 28 damage. Oh! That was a Fancy! <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Well, as you can see, yeah, you could lose the game on the spot very quickly. But, even when we lose, we progress some of the stuff in the town. And when we go back... There we go, we've unlocked a pet house. And started Inventor's Hut. So in here... We'll have a whole different buildings. You know, we have our starting tribes. For now, we have only snow dwellers. Uh, we also have the the new what was it the pet store, right? Where we have Snoof, and hopefully we'll have more. Um, yeah, we need to hit the redraw bell ten times to unlock. Uh, what was it? Inventor's Hut, right? And there's also Daily Voyage, which is, if you've played Slay the Spire, is basically your daily, daily run. You have different modifiers, decks, and scoreboard, of course. All right, I think that's enough for our first game. There will definitely be more coming. Until then, I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you next time.